So many of my participants who again grew up in Chinatown, went on to serve their schools mostly in Chinatown, went on to become PhDs. And um, many of them went on to serve at the university level, preparing future teachers to be Cantonese uh, teachers and provide those bilingual provisions within their communities. Um, and others went on to remain in the system and be principals and leaders and activists um, throughout San Francisco where, as the Chinese community was expanding. But I think the principal thing is, is that all of them drew from their historic um, and current and complicated identities with language, race, and national origin. And they drew from that and that helped them determine and arbitrate what was language policy going to look like for the students in my classroom, in my bilingual classroom? What is it going to look like when I am now a principal? What is it going to look like now that I'm a, you know, a principal, maybe in a school with many Chinese students outside of Chinatown? Or what will it look like for me as a principal in a community where there are very few Chinese students? And so all of them brought those experiences to the fore to arbitrate the ways in which they enacted policy and how they interpreted Lau v. Nichols. <laughs>